can see that is Cape Three Points, the southernmost tip of Ghana. Uh, we've met a couple of nice young uh, young lads here, uh, Patrick and Alex, and they are travelling kind of through Africa in this four-wheel drive land cruiser. So let's go and say hello and uh, maybe they can tell you themselves uh, what they're up to, you know. Hello guys. And these two lads are travelling in the vehicle behind them, the Land Cruiser. Uh, so, well, you, do one of you guys, or both of you, want to tell us uh, your trip and what it is you're doing? We actually plan on driving from Munich in uh, Bavaria all the way down to Cape Town. So we'll be, uh, we came to Ghana via uh, Morocco and Senegal, Mauritania, Guinea and Ivory Coast and we're now in beautiful Ghana. So um, we'll now be heading on towards Togo and after that we'll be shipping our little car all the way down to Namibia and um, once in Namibia we'll be we're hoping to travel to Botswana and to um, Zimbabwe and then all the way down to Cape Town. That's our plan anyway. Yeah, yeah. So That's far, so excellent. good. Excellent. So, what about you, Alex? Have you got any like high points of the trip that you could share with us? Um, I think Guinea is one of the most beautiful countries yeah. we've been through, uh, except for the police checkpoints. But yeah. that was something that, yeah, we managed. I yeah. think quite well. And Morocco was also really, really nice. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Ghana is a beautiful country too. Yeah. So you were saying about Guinea earlier on, and there's a bit of a like a love-hate relationship <laughs> in a way that it's such a beautiful country. One of your favourites, I think yes, you were saying, yes. were you? Definitely. But definitely. what was the the downside, the the thing that balanced it out, the natural beauty? Do you want to tell us about that? Um, well, the, the police in <laughs> Guinea are definitely um, a one of a kind, I would say. Uh, yeah. we've, um, we had three run-ins with them when they just wanted to fine us because, for no reason. You know, they wanted uh, your money. They wanted yeah. our money. You know, I'd say that was the only downside, but um, all other countries so far, I have to say, the police were easy, just in Guinea, they uh, yeah. didn't seem to like our faces for some reason. Right. Oh, they liked your money much <laughs> they, more than your faces, exactly. maybe. Yeah. 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 Oh, so there you go. That's one of the one of the tips if you're going to undertake a journey like these guys are on this adventure. Uh, the police are usually okay, but in Guinea, just beware of them. <laughs> Try and steer clear of them. Yeah. Well, should we? Would you like to show us around this amazing vehicle sure, that you're yeah, traveling sure. in and uh, lead the way? So, what is it? It's a Land Cruiser, right? It's Toyota Land Cruiser. The Land Cruiser LJ70, so the short version. Yeah. Um, we've done a few modifications. I don't know if you want to have a look inside. Please. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've taken out the the back seats. It does have a back seat. Usually. Ah, okay. And we built this wooden kind of um, contraption, yeah. so we can store all our stuff in boxes. Uh, we've got two 20 liter canisters here. Yeah. Um, obviously, a cooler for some cold drinks. Excellent. And, and that's an electric one, is it? Yes. yes. We've ah, got um, quite a few points at the front where we can charge stuff and stuff. Uh, yeah. There's a battery, a second battery underneath the cooling. Like the a cooler. leisure battery, is it? Right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So it, while we're driving, it actually recharges this battery and the front battery. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's basically the inside. We haven't done much more to that. Yeah, um, that's good. It's handy. I, uh, I have to say it works quite well. Yeah. Um, We've done a few other things. We mounted some sand ladders on the side because we unfortunately didn't have room inside the car or on the roof anymore. Yeah. Um, just in case we do get stuck in the sand. Have you been stuck yet? Have you used them? We haven't used them yet. Yeah. Uh, touch wood. Yeah. Well, Namib Namibia you're Namibia, on your way to, probably, right? That might probably. be the... And you go into the skeleton course yes, right there. Yes, yes, so yes. look look up the skeleton course. Amazing landscape there. Yeah. Amazing uh, uh, place of the world, really. Yeah. Um, so what else on the Land Cruiser? Obviously the, the tyres are, are new. Um, Off-road tyres. We bought them especially for the trip. Um, they're, they're very good, I have to say. There's a 
other suspension in there, but it was in there when we bought the car. Um, but it's a little bit higher, so it handles quite well. Yes, it's it's a very uh, good suspension. Yeah. Uh, old emu, uh, yeah. old man emu. Yes. Uh, we've put our high lift up on the bonnet. Um, high lift, obviously, we have to jack up the car if you want to change a tire or something. Unfortunately, we didn't have room in the car for that either because it's quite a small car. <laughs> so we had to put it on the bonnet, but uh, we think it looks quite cool there. So. It does. <laughs> Uh, we've got a also got a LED bar at the front that we can switch on from inside. It's very very bright, so I will oh, nice. switch it on now. Um, this antenna, in case we need to get in touch with someone, so we've got right. A, um, it's like CV an emergency radio. system that yes. you've got on board, it's right? Just a normal CV radio, actually. Oh, okay, right. In case yeah. maybe someone's yeah. in the area. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll we can just say, oh, okay. If all else fails, yeah. you can yeah. fall back on the CB. Yeah. yeah. And have you talked about this? This is like your winch, right? A manual winch, is it? Uh, it's actually a high jack, a high lift, which is basically a jack to jack the car up. Ah, oh, right. Okay. But, but you can use it also as a manual winch. Yes. Right, for pulling, yeah. you could exactly. tie it rope to a tree and yep. slowly pull your, yeah, exactly. your vehicle out. Yeah. Right, yeah, excellent. Um, and we we also, the car didn't have a snorkel when we when we bought it. Yeah. So we actually drilled a hole inside. This is an add-on that you guys have yeah. done. Yeah. This is so you can get into water, in effect, up to this level, right? Yeah. And, uh, Theoretically. And, and the vehicle will still move. <laughs> Theoretically. But so, actually, it's more... <laughs> For this this is a cyclone filter filter. right and it filters out all the dust and all the sand Ah, which is important on your route exactly yeah yeah Yeah. and do you have to clean this out every so often you how often have you been cleaning that every maybe once a week and has it needed it is it it doesn't really need it you know sometimes but yeah not not really well you can see it here Ah, okay right okay absolutely very good um what else uh obviously the Roof tent. Oh yes, let's get to the tent, this amazing uh, accommodation that Patrick and Alex have got here. Uh, this is, you were saying it's Austrian made, is it? Or German German made? or Austrian, I'm not quite sure anymore. Yeah. Pawn tools. Pawn um, tools. tools. Yeah. It's a, I think the mattress is 2 meters 20 by 1 meter 40. Yes. Yeah. And it's a really thick kind of yes. canvas material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and absolutely waterproof. Yeah, uh, fully waterproof, fully yeah. bug proof. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, I suppose traditionally these kind of, it's like a safari tent in a way to keep you off the ground yes, from yes. potential dangerous animals maybe. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah, are classic African style uh, vehicle camping really. Definitely. Eh? Um, and can, can yes, we get, a, do you want yes. to have a look up into you the tent? You can open it up here. as well. Yeah. Probably a bit untidy, but uh, oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry. You can but just actually, climb up. up. It's actually quite good because we can leave the sleeping bags up there, so we don't have to always take out the sleeping bags every morning, put them back in the oh, evening. So we just good. leave them in, just close it up, it up and, and it's done. With. Excellent. You can have a look inside if you want. Oh, yes. Palatial. <laughs> How's it look, Sonia? Looks brilliant. Yeah. Looks really comfortable. And it's got a, a solid base as well. Yes, and uh, I think 10 centimeter of mattress. Oh, very nice. So Luxury. This is like from... glamping round Africa, you boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really nice. So that's that's really nice. Thank you so much for showing us around uh, your vehicle and your accommodation and sharing uh, a little bit of your journey with us. And, uh, Can I just ask one question? Sure. Um, what would you say to anyone who is thinking about doing this? You know, uh, what's this trip meant to you so far? I know you're only halfway through. But... Um, I think the most important thing I'd say is just don't think about it, do it. Because we, you know, people always think too much and I think it's not as hardcore as people will tell you it is yeah um, once you're on a road it just goes and you just you find solutions for problems easily the people are so friendly here everywhere we've been if you need help they will help you yeah and just our, our I think our tip yeah. is just yeah. go ahead Definitely. do yeah. it uh, wise and, words yeah and sure. um, don't worry too much yeah that, that's that's I think what we would say yes yeah, 
I'm totally with Pat. Uh, um, sure, you need some preparations and uh, think about some things you, you, you're gonna take with you, but just do it. That's, that's, that's yes. the thing. I, it's I think, been yeah. an amazing trip so far. Yeah. And, um, really it's amazing. Hopefully going to continue to be amazing, so yeah, I can I'm recommend it to anyone. I'm sure it will be amazing, yeah, all the way. So, anything else you'd like to ask? Oh, lots and lots, lots. but I think... Well, maybe we'll do that in uh, the privacy away from the camera, you know. You'll have to go on an adventure like this yourselves and find out, okay? So, well, it's very inspiring what you're doing. It's really a great adventure, I'm sure, for you guys. And uh, the finishing place is Cape Town, Cape Town right? Yeah, yeah. What an amazing place to finish off a, a journey like this through Western Africa, or North Africa, yeah. Western Africa and then South Africa and Namibia and uh, one of the other countries. Botswana, there. Zimbabwe, South Africa. Yeah, well, what a journey, what a journey. Well, uh, I think it's time maybe for a swim in the ocean. And, and yeah, the long. And, uh, oh yeah, sorry, uh, what is your blog, please? If um, you, one of you wants to tell the camera. It's actually this, oh, here it's we go. bromas.com. So, do go and have a look. We upload every, about every two weeks. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of pictures because well, we like uh, taking pictures. So yeah, yeah, excellent. Hopefully you like it. So um, yeah, go and have a look. Excellent. Thank right. you very much. Well, as always, stay healthy and well. Be good to each other, and we'll see you next time on Beyond Growing. Okay, bye bye.